Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to another Draw More tutorial. Today I'm going to go over how to mirror 2D and 3D curves. So let's get started. For drawing 2D curves, I will be showing you both an orthographic view as well as in perspective. So the first thing you want to do is create a rectangle and then we will duplicate this rectangle so it's symmetric. And I'm just going to complete this X to create uh, more reference points. Now let's do a perspective view as well. Okay. All right, let's make our curve over here first. So now that you've made up a curve on the left side, you'll find, you'll start to look for reference points. Let's see. So we'll, we'll use this point, not this point. And then to find the point up here, we'll just make a little box over here. And do how you duplicated this plane, just make a little rectangle up here, find that center point. And that's how you find that mirrored point. See that point is actually going to be out here more. So now you connect them. Now let's do the perspective version of that. So again, create the curve that you want on this side. And then find areas that you um,
Once we have enough reference points, uh, we can now draw the mirrored plane. My points are a little off, but you can still generalize where that curve is going to be. Again, practice makes perfect if you want to become more accurate with, with trying to find uh, mirrored curves. Now let's do, let's fill this whole page. Now let's mirror some 3D curves in perspective. Let's first create a grid in perspective and a vertical plane down the center. Now let's make the first curve on the vertical plane. Then to make the same curve on the ground plane, you need to create some reference lines. So I like to make my first one in the center and then break it up into What is that? Thirds? Fourths? Alright, now you want to reflect these lines onto this plane. Okay, from there you can now measure, so this point is close to the center of this line. This one is about a fourth on that line. Now that you have both curves, extend the lines out from those reference points into a dimensional space. So what I mean by that is what you've done here, do that to these points up here as well. Extend them pretty far out past what will be these vertical lines from those points. So there you have your first point in this three-dimensional space. And then lastly, you want to connect these points. Next, we need to find the center of these rectangles to begin mirroring this curve. So we've got a rectangle here. First, do your X and find that center line. There's your point. And 
and there's the mirrored or duplicated plane. Next square. Let's extend this line out. And as you're making these mirrored rectangles, you can then find the, the intersecting points. The square is looking a little wonky right here, but you can fudge it a little bit. Then our last square. Now let's connect these points. And once you have this top curve, you can project that curve down here as well. And then darken these lines up. There you have 3D curves. Now let's do a few more and get a little more crazy with these curves. All right, there is mirroring uh, 2D and 3D curves. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful or not.
Thanks. Bye-bye now.